गुड मॉर्निंग सलाम गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग डिस्कशन Please check, sir. I have made you the host. Okay, just a minute. Are my slides visible? Can someone confirm, please? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, 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 sir. Just one minute. <laughs> Just a minute, please. So, uh, before we start taking up the slides, I want to ask all the participants. I know we have distinguished participants from various, you know, institutions and and from you know very diverse background, but ICT is a very very common solution enabler for all the faculty members and researchers research supervisors to make our life easier and to help us perform better so before we take up the deep dive into the discussion i want to spend few minutes to to ask the expectations of from the participants to collate the expectations from the participants and the problem because ict alone cannot solve any problem but ict is definite definitely a solution enabler so let's focus on the chat box and i would like to request uh, the participants to mention some of the problems that you would like to solve through ict so that before they by the end of the session we can look back at these problems and see whether we have found any solutions to those problems so what are the problems as teachers or as faculty members that you would like to be solved through ict so let's hear from you what are the problems that teachers often find from various institutions so you can take your own institution as an example what problems would you like to be solved as a teacher through ict so that by the end of the session we will look back and see whether we have been able to find some solution or not so at the end of the session you will take away certain solutions practical solutions through ict so what are the problems as teachers kindly spend a minute or two to provide your inputs through chat box yes the floor is open for your inputs please what are the common problems that you see in your classes as teachers that you would like to the i mean that you would like to be solved those problems i'm talking because ict is a solution enabler it's not a panacea but definitely a solution enabler finding study material in regional language conducting test and evaluation comma research project good so don't repeat what somebody else has given engaging students in an online session very nice please go ahead and provide your feedback rural children do not have devices good please go ahead and provide the mass communication techniques based on ict very good go ahead so these are all some of the problems that you know some of the participants are mentioning so kindly have a look at the chat box if your your input is already provided by somebody else you don't have to repeat it but if you have some problems that you believe 
should be solved through ICT or there should be some solution. Kindly mention those problems because before we conclude this session, we'll again look back and see whether we have been able to find some solution or not. Because the idea is you should take away certain solutions that you can implement in your institutions from tomorrow. That's the objective we would like to, you know, uh, how to conduct. Okay, cool. Experimental exercises. Very good. Go ahead. This we will discuss in our slides also and followed by the demo that we will have. Any other problems? Attitude of students and teacher. How do we do? In, okay, cool. Not very comfortable. Very good. Many teachers and many students require, you know, orientation and, and raising the comfort in using ICT. Very, very true. Absolutely true. We will discuss. But we should not presume that uh, we provide a solution and people will start using it. We should provide some kind of training, some kind of hand holding. Very, very true. Absolutely. Go ahead. Please provide your problems because we would like this session to be interactive. Problem in engaging students having rural background due to unavailability of gadgets like mobile and laptop. Okay. Communication barrier due to fluctuating networks. Network fluctuations, digital education. Okay, very nice. So, good set of feedback. This is the feedback that we have as the, you know, faculty members or the teachers. Can I also, before we take up the slides, providing the whole package of subject matter starting from the matter to exam? Okay. Now, this is as far as the teachers' feedback for enrichment enablement and you know facilitation how how it is transforming learning cool we will cover that in our slides when we talk about the 21st century transformations that are happening in the content in the role of teacher in the ro role of learner etc etc so let's also take a minute or two to understand what are the problems of research supervisor and research scholars so we, enough input on the teacher teaching learning side of the things that we have already got on the chat box i would also like to have a few inputs on the research supervisor and research scholars related challenges that we would like to address through ict okay so if 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 you want to park that towards the end then let us uh, not uh, let's focus on the research side a bit later let's finish the teaching learning side of it first then we'll come back to the research. So allow me to share my slides and start the discussion. Just a minute. Yes, sir. OK. So uh, we have the uh, slides visible, I suppose, right? My slides are visible. Can some someone confirm? No, me? sir. No, sir. It's not visible. No, sir. Huh? It's no, not sir. visible. No, no, sir. Sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Not yet? No, sir. OK. Not yet. Let me stop. Not visible, sir. Yeah, just a minute. Let me stop this and start again. Let me share sir, once sir, again. Try to share complete screen, whole screen. Okay. Then it will be visible. Okay. Cool. Just a minute. Uh, is it visible now? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Not yet. Just a minute. What about now? Not yet. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, allow sir, me one minute. You see a different option. When, when you try to share, you'll see a different option. No, and try I, to I select all windows. Window window window. But allow me to just one minute to log out and log in again. Maybe there's some right, issue. Sir. No, sir. No, sir.
I'll just log out and log in again. <coughs> mazhab can you please give me the presentation rights is mazhar around Hello. हेलो मजहर आपने मुझे प्रेजेंटेशन राइट देना है मैं कुछ दिक्कत थी मैंने लॉग आउट करके दोबारा लॉग इन किया तो वो हाँ वो दे दीजिए आप एलोकेट कर दीजिए रिसोर्स पर्सन
is the screen visible right now not yet sir not yet डॉक्टर एम डी महमूद सर आप अपना म्यूट रखें प्लीज आपका बार बार ऑन हो जा रहा है माइक ओके पार्टिसिपेंट्स प्लीज Uh, stay calm because there is a problem with the machine on which professor mahmood is working on he has just restarted his machine and now within 3 5 minutes he is just joining once again Yes, sir. Now it's visible. Please, आप लोग mute रखें. Please, I am here to check it out. Okay. Thanks. I've just restarted my machine. No issues. Sorry for the any interruptions, but let's proceed further. So allow me to share my slides, and then we'll continue the discussion. Slides are visible now. Yes, sir. Okay. Cool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Th thanks a lot. Kindly stay muted. When we have to discuss, then only unmute yourself. So let's continue the discussion. So as uh, uh, we all know, and we have re in recent past witnessed the uh, compulsive use of ICT during the Corona pandemic. despite the fact that system was not ready to shift fully to online mode we did because of the external compulsions of the covid pandemic most of the institutions all over the india all over the length and breadth of india had used some kind of an online methodology whether it was fully prepared or not but we have seen as a result what has happened we have seen the power of ict most of the ministries and government had been trying to promote the use of ict but all institutions uh, were taking its own time in and its own you know plan but suddenly with the you know covid pandemic things went in an online mode and we saw the constraints in the system we saw the limitations but we also saw the power of ict how it is useful so we all know that uh, the uh, we are in the part of developing uh, 
uh, countries and we do have challenges in terms of you know resource constraints we all know that and uh, this is as per one of the studies that around 2.5 billion people uh, earn less than two dollars a day this data is a bit old today also situation would not be too much of different so the either the infrastructure is inadequate or it is unavailable we have seen the infrastructure related bottlenecks including the ict whether it was a healthcare infrastructure whether it was ict infrastructure we have all witnessed that right and as a result some of the feedback that the participants have given just before the start of the session you know the challenges so we this session by the end of this session when we conclude we would have looked at these challenges and we would have found some pragmatic solution that can ease the utilization of ICT and also help us perform better as teacher, as learners for our students and as a research supervisor as well as research, you know, scholars. So there are technologies, but deployment of technology has its own challenges, its own constraints and its own, you know, life cycle that we have to take care. Now, coming back, because right now this, this particular session is focused only on the teaching, learning and research side of because ICT is a solution enabler for different walks of life. Just to give an example, something like 15, 20 years back, if we had to book a train ticket, we will go to railway station, stand in a queue and wait for our turn. Either we'll go ourselves or we'll engage a travel agent, right? And book a railway ticket. That was the story. But what, ha what is happening today? Hardly any one of us go to railway station. We go to IRCT website and book the ticket. And if we if we have to, God forbid, our plan changes, if we have to cancel the ticket, in the previous scenario, we'll have to again go to railway station, wait for another few hours for our turn in the queue and to cancel the ticket. So one CL for ticket booking and cancellation would have gone in the previous scenario. But today, we go to IRCTC website and book. So technology has helped us solve the problem of waiting in the queue and wasting of time, right? or depending on a on a travel agent so this has this is the power of technology it can find solutions to the real world problems so technology is a solution enabler in different walks of life in different parts of life right now our discussion is focused focused on teaching learning and research so we will be focusing only on that so let's look at the role of ICT for teaching learning so it's not a cure it alone can't solve a problem, but it definitely can help us find solutions, affordable solution, meaningful solution, and pragmatic solution to the problems. So there are basically four domains, uh, infrastructure development, basic human needs, economic development, and empowerment. So education comes under empowerment. So for education also, ICT has enormous power, some of which we have seen during the pandemic, COVID pandemic, so there are solutions, but its implementation requires many things, which means merely buying a technology solution and putting it in the institution will not solve the problem because actually for excellence, there are three wheels of a three wheeler or three pillars. So we should all know that for excellence, there are three pillars or there are three wheels of a three wheeler. Take an example of a three wheeler vehicle. So technology is one of the wheels, the other two being people and process. So we buy the best technology, but we don't train our people as some of the participants were mentioning that using ICT, we need proper training to the students. We also need training for our staff. So we buying technology or bringing technology alone is not enough. We need to train people. We need to, you know, bring people to understand, to support, to cooperate and to adopt the te te meaningful use of technology. So, so one is the technology, the other is people. And the third is the process or the rules, regulation process. Likewise, what UGC has done, UGC has started MOOCs. So UGC has brought a process of UGC credit frame framework for MOOCs, right? So all the three when blended together, it's like when a three wheeler has to move, all the three wheels should be properly bloated with air. If one of the wheel has good air and the other two wheels do not have sufficient air, the vehicle will not move properly. So in order for vehicle to move properly, all the three wheels of the three wheeler should be properly having proper air. Likewise, when we want excellence, we have to see to it that not only the technology, but also the people and process, they are blended in the right proportion so that we can achieve 
excellence. So with that, let's focus on the enabling technology, ICT. You know, ICT itself has got its own area of research, bandwidth, computational speed, storage, etc., etc. And there are leapfrogging technologies that do not demand a large or pre-existing resource database. So technology research is happening, which probably the computer science, computer engineering, and, and those technical people are doing. But as far as the usage of technology is concerned for people from other domain, there are large number of solutions, but they are largely, uh, they are largely untapped, which means they have not been practically implemented or the practical implementation has not happened to, to the adequate level so that people like you know some of the problems what what uh, our faculty members were saying the participants were saying that rural areas we have problem so keeping all those challenges government has done a lot of funding on the various projects that we will talk about shortly there are multiple projects to address these problems right so let's come back to the teaching learning and research and you would have heard of a research called cone of experience so we all know by our experience that anything that our students read, they can only retain very small portion of it. So roughly like 10% of what is read is retained by the students. But if we also, if we hear, then the retention is a bit higher. So 20% typical, this is basically from a study. So 20% of what is heard is retained. Only 10% of what is read is retained. So if we also see, so what we see, we can retain is still larger. So we can retain something like 30% of what we see. So imagine an example. Let me give an example. Are there any geography teachers in this uh, class? Any, any faculty member from geography background? Yes or no? Hello? No, sir. Okay, doesn't matter. Let, let's look at no, our, our own, uh, you know, student life. When we were students, we, we, we were taught geography in our schools, right? And in geography, let's say there is a first class of geography and uh, a, a, a teacher has to explain the um, galaxy. How would our teacher would have done? We will discuss that shortly. So let's first finish the cone of experience. So 50% we can retain if we hear as well as see. So understand that the traditional model of teaching learning was chalk and talk. So our Guruji will come, he will bring a chalk and he will talk in the class. That was the history. That was the legacy methodology of education. So any student who missed the class of Guruji is gone because now nothing can happen. Come back next year when the same class will be taught by Guruji for the next batch of students in the next year or next semester. That was the history, right? But in 21st century, this, this concept is actually being challenged. That is not so. So oh, the cone of experience tells us that if we just simply read or hear, we can retain less. But if we hear, see, read, our retention level is much higher. So something like 50% if we hear and see. Why I'm saying so? Because we will be referring this shortly in our subsequent discussion. Higher levels of retention can be achieved through active involvement in learning. Right? So coming back to kindly stay muted if possible. So taking the example of the galaxy te teaching in our schools or in, in any class, what will happen typically if a teacher has to explain the concept of galaxy? He will come to the class, he or she will come to the class, draw a diagram on the blackboard or green board or white board, whatever is the board. And then it will take 5, 10, 20 minutes to draw that diagram. Solar system, you know, heavenly bodies, etc., etc., orbits, everything. And then try to explain. That will also give a vague concept to the students, right? Because the galaxy is three-dimensional. The teacher can't draw a three-dimensional diagram in a, on a two-dimensional board. So the board itself is two-dimensional. It has got x-axis and y-axis. And the galaxy itself is three-dimensional. So teacher would try its best to draw a diagram 
explain to the students. But what happens today? Today, a small YouTube video of three minutes or two minutes, multimedia video explaining the galaxy along with audio and video and a, and, and a moving object. In two minutes, that concept can be crystal clear, isn't it? That's possible today, but it was not possible 20 years back when we were students, right? We had only methodology of seeing a diagram on our green board or white board drawn by our teacher or our Guruji. And that was the only source of knowledge. But that's happening. That's changing very, very fast in 21st century. And that's why we are here to understand the how do we use technology to enhance the learning for our students. So if, if a two minutes YouTube video of Galaxy is watched by the student, the concept gets grilled in the mind of the student. And it is very, very easy. Then there can be questions and answers, right? With interactive session between the student and the teacher that will raise the level of learning much higher than it used to be otherwise in a traditional methodology. So teaching aids are there. So today's teaching aids are much more powerful than the teaching aids of something like 10, 20, 30 years back. Teaching aids themselves are not new. They are very old concept. So they reinforce what teachers are saying, ensures that the teacher's point is clearly understood, signal what is important and what is not important, and enable students to visualize or experience something that is impractical to see or do in real life. Take the example of Galaxy that I just discussed. So if we use a teaching aid like a small YouTube video of Galaxy, it will be very easy for students to visualize. Otherwise, seeing Galaxy and visualizing Galaxy in the real world is not possible. So it also helps us to engage the other senses of students in the learning process. And it facilitates different styles of learning, right? So, so there are emerging trends for you but through ICT in the education. Now, here is a table that describes three models in teaching learning environment. So there was a traditional model where the focus was only on the Guruji or the teacher. So the role of learner was passive and the technology was chalk and talk. So Guruji will come or the teacher will come with the chalk and talk in the class. The role of the learner is passive, role of the teacher is active. So this was the history. When we were you know, young kids, this was the model, very, very common. But today, it's a bit changing. We are seeing the information model where the focus is on the learners, not on the teachers. So the role of the learner ch changes from passive to active. And there is a use of personal computer. That personal computer could be a personal computer, a desktop. It could be a laptop or it could be even a smartphone that also has some computing power. So a small, a small YouTube video or a small open educational resource provided to the students can enhance the learning. So the student, even if he or she missed the class, can go through that video and can still achieve the level of learning. That is the information model which is happening right now. And beyond that, there is one more model called knowledge model where the focus is not on the individual teacher or learner but on the individual group and the role is actually adaptive learning and the technology is PC plus network, which means apart from computing, you also need connectivity because there are resources available outside the premises of the institution, outside the storage of the individual computer, which needs to be referred to so as to make the learning adaptive. Now, as some of the students, uh, some of the faculty members mentioned some of the problems. One of the problems that was not mentioned by any teacher, but I also have observed that and some of the past participants of this session have given this feedback to students are not very regular in the class, isn't it? One particular student is present in two classes, absent in the third and fourth, fifth class. So the continuity of discussion, he or she is not able to get involved. So as a, as a result, there are impediments in his or her learning. So how do we overcome that through technology? And for that, there is something called a technology-based solution called LMS or learning management system. 
which is actually a one stop shop for all the learning needs of the students and the lms has a lms is a platform that helps the students to look back and refer to for all the learning including what happened in my class what happened in the assignment what happened in the quiz etc etc so it becomes like a one stop shop for, and this is one thing the other is in any class and i'm sure many of the participants would agree in any class if we divide the class into three groups there are there is a one group of students who are above average something like 10 15 20% students will fall into that category right then there is a large number of average students something like 30 40 50% of the students will fall into this category based on class to class then there is some category called below average right am i correct or incorrect kindly unmute and provide your feedback do you have yes, your class correct. with all correct. the excellent students only I, I very very rare right so no, we sir. have correct. above average students you know a small portion large number of average students and one again you know subset called below average students now what will happen is teacher will say i want to do a remedial class for my poor students or below average students when he sends a notice you will always find that the whoever was being targeted is not present this the 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 diligent students will be present in that extra class also so while the teacher was attempting to provide an a, a tailored learning environment by doing some extra class or doing some extra tutorial for the weaker part of the students but unfortunately notice went out to everybody and those who are being targeted are missing and those who are the sincere lot they will be sitting in the class so while the teacher's intent was to help the weaker students it did not materialize because there is no solution to tailor this to the group and that is what the knowledge model solves this problem so there is a knowledge model so the students can be grouped into different categories and then the learning can be provided in an adaptive environment this is basically through what is called lms and we at amu have implemented an lms i will also demonstrate the lms to the participants so you can see how this lms solves this problem we will we will showcase you before we conclude this session so let's move forward how the role of teacher is actually changing historically teacher was, or the guruji was the transmitter of the knowledge so if if somebody missed the class he is gone because now he has no option to get the knowledge it is changing teacher is no longer transmitter of knowledge it becomes the guide and facilitator of knowledge so from transmitter to guide and facilitator that's the role transformation of in the role of teacher itself is happening in 21st century where ICT has become an integral part of the teaching learning process. Now, earlier it was controller of learning, which means in the legacy model or the, in the traditional model, if somebody came late and teacher is strict, he will say, no, no, get out, get out of my class. I'm not allowing you. So he controlled who, who can learn, who cannot learn. And he controlled, these are the rules. He or she, whoever was the teacher was controlling the learning. But it is not so anymore in 21st century. It is actually teacher is creating a learning environment that will facilitate learning for all type of students. And in the legacy model, in the traditional model, teacher used to be always an expert. That's no longer true in 21st century. Teacher is also because every teacher is a student also. Every teacher is a learner also. So teacher's role is changing from always an expert to collaborator and co-learner and role is changing from learning you to use ICT towards using ICT to enhance learning to enhance the level of learning and the approach is changing from expository to interactive experimental and exploratory so that's the role of the transformation happening in the role of teacher itself now how the curriculum is changing how the content is changing so earlier it used to be curriculum was focused more on memorizing facts, right? That is changing from memorizing facts to inquiry based. Because, you know, 
earlier in in you know something like 10 20 years back the exams used to be mostly focused on the memorizing facts but today through google you know you can find a lot of facts right you google and find out so if that is the answer then you know you will not be able to know so the situation is changing so the, the curriculum has to change it has got to be inquiry based let me give you an example from history earlier the history question will contain when was gandhi ji born in which city gandhi ji was born something like that but this information anybody can find out from the google so instead of that probably the situation today would be things where google can't find for example say if gandhi ji was alive today what he would be doing the google will say sorry data not found <laughs> right so here it should be inquiry based that is how the analysis of the student is is being done right now so a student so the curriculum also has to change from memorizing facts to inquiry based from artificial learning teaching exercises to authentic learning exercises in learning for example if there is a law student instead of giving a hypothetical case actually a case which is being you know uh, handled in some courts that can be assigned and say what are your if you have to prepare a case file based on the information available in the public domain what case file will you prepare so it should be authentic learning rather than art artificial exercises and instead of rigid delivery it has got to be a flexible delivery which means as some of the participants were saying that you know rural areas students don't have electricity i'm doing an online class this problem we saw a lot of time during corona the student joined the class suddenly he got dropped out from the class because the power failed in his village he was in the class but after 5 minutes he dropped out of the class and could not join for the rest of the class because power tripped and he you know his internet connectivity went down or whatever then how do we provide solution to that particular student for that again so whatever happened in the class gets uploaded in the lms student in the in the evening his electricity gets restored he logs into the lms portal downloads the slides download what happened and goes through so instead of fixed time and fixed space it becomes any time and anywhere and instead of, and changes from the progression path from single path to multi path progression is possible so as far as the uh, changes in the multimedia so we earlier had single sense stimulation only seeing the chalk and talk now it is happening that there is a video can be played you know a smart classrooms we have video can be played uh, uh, you know so the multi sensory sensory stimulation is the way forward for instead of single sensory stimulation now single media to multimedia application and instead of delivery of information it is exchange of information suppose four students of the law are given exercise that you prepare a case file and let us do a small moot court or a smart discussion in the class and then they can exchange the information and te teacher can judge and you know can facilitate that discussion so that's the things that, that is happening in the 21st century and then they can compare how the in fact today most of the courts have started live streaming the courts hearing so this was never possible in the legacy model until the law students graduates and joins you know and uh, as a intern with some you know some senior lawyer but today evening you know uh, the the students can see the actual proceedings in the court in the high court and the supreme court and come back and say as i have looked at two hour hearing in the court here are the arguments and here are the discussions on the basis of this we have learned this so it's very very you know today the quantum of knowledge and information available is enormous how do we use and how do we blend into our curriculum is basically matters and as as teachers we all know that we have certain internal assessment marks for the assignments we should tailor the assignments different for each student so that copy paste is not there and then those assignments can compulsorily you know provide a compulsion to all students to go through some material tailored to their weakness tailored to their needs and bring up the you know uh, so that they don't do copy paste they can actually apply it to some authentic learning exercise this all is possible earlier we had analog resources we have digital resources now 
that also we will look at some of the digital resources shortly when we do the demo side of it after the presentation so there are a number of national digital resources we will talk about it so let me let me just uh, go through uh, list kindly take a screenshot of this slide and i would request all the participants to go through these and we will we will shortly start demo of each one of them so we have see what happened the in 2006 at the time of the then president dr apj kalam he had education was very very close to his heart and he was from a very humble background so he wanted to help the weakest student in the remotest area across india so he launched a portal called sakshat portal because he not only he but you know we all realized that there is a shortage and a scarcity of good teachers across the world not only in india but across the world there is a shortage of good teachers there are good teachers and there are not so good teachers but there is always even in our students life you would remember that that particular teacher was very very nice i is still remembering right so how do we capture the knowledge and wisdom being imparted by our good teachers in such a form that even after the retirement even after the death of our good teacher we can still get benefited and our generations can get benefited for example dr apj kalam had delivered so many good lectures he has died but his lectures are still there we can still refer those lectures and get motivated right so a sakshat portal was inaugurated in 2006 and then since then a lot of content maturity has happened in the sakshat portal we will look at sakshat portal how we can use this for the benefit of our students and for our own benefits and for the benefit of students in the remotest part of the country then we have another national digital resource called so this is the national digital resources is basically aligned to the third model we said knowledge model and adaptive learning so please refer that particular slide we had said that we have a legacy model we have information model then we have knowledge model so the third one the third model was basically relating to the some resources outside the premises of our institution outside the hard disk of our computer so they are the national digital resources which government has funded a number of funded projects have happened and we have a lot of them we will also look at them shortly within this particular session so we have something called nptel which is national program on technology enabled learning so here is the website nptel.ac.in here we can find a lot of see what happens the population is huge the tier 1 institutions are less so the number of students who get to admission in these tier 1 institutions like iits are very few vast majority of the students do not get admission to these institutions however through these funded projects what government has ensured is that even if a student did not get admission to iit he still has he or she ha still has access to the lectures being taught in iit so that he or she can get benefited by the good quality content that is what nptel is all about we will look at it so actual lectures being delivered in iits are recorded video recorded then pdf transcripts are there quizzes are there and so many things so that it helps our to not only our students but our teachers also suppose a teacher is going to teach a particular subject for the first time and this he can look at how this this subject is being taught at iit what, what are the resources what are the material this will also help our teachers to enhance their skill and our young faculty members you know our lab staff so many things so it's actually a very very good national digital resource that can be utilized by peers as well as by the students across the country then we have something called vlab.co.in in during the the initial chat session many of the participants mentioned that you know practical learning my friends we will agree that lab setting up laboratory is an inst investment oriented approach am i correct the tier 1 institutions have good resources they have good laboratories but there are a lot of private institutions across the country they do not have that, they have wonderful building but many of the institutions do not have excellent equipment 
as a result our students are the loser they don't have good equipment they don't get good learning because practical learning due to lack of equipments and lack of good lab staff so as a result what happens there are impediments into the learning of the students passing out from those institutions to take care of this problem to bridge the gap government funded a project called we lab virtual labs so this we lab.co.in is the website where virtual labs are there which means and apart from that there is one more problem suppose there is a weak student because a good teacher always tries to focus on a weakest student in his or her class and if he can be uplifted then others will obviously be uplifted so if there is a weak student he is not able to complete the experiment in one hour or one and a half hour allotted for the experiment this poor student is also shy he will not express his weakness to the teacher and uh, he will carry the impediment in the learning process and the next class there is next experiment so he will copy from here and there submit the report he'll get some marks but he actual objective of the experiment is the learning marks and reports are side products the main product is the learning or the reinforcements of the concept driven by that experiment so there is there are theory classes where theory is taught there are practical lab classes where those theory is reinforced through some experiments now this poor student or weak student did not complete the experiment he copied from left and right and center submitted the report and then moved to the next class now how do we take care of the weakness in the concept of that student this can be taken care of through these we labs that means he goes to the home logs into the we lab runs the experiment virtually reinforces takes the quiz and this also provides a very good environment for our lab staff because most of the institution do not have a structured methodology for training of the lab staff so what can happen is this we lab can be used by the institutions to ask their laboratory support staff to run these experiments enhance their own concept because if the lab staff is having weakness in the concept then he or she is training the student so that weakness will percolate to the students also people will get marks people will get degree but with impediments in the learning process which is not good for a country so as a result government has realized these you know areas of improvements and established these you know supported and funded these projects called virtual lab this must be used extensively by all these to all the institutions i would request all the participants to kindly look into these national resources we will also slightly look in a few minutes and then you can look at the details in your leisure time then we have something called epg patshala lots and lots of epg patshala content has been placed so as a national digital resource that should be used by the pg students then there is something called swam that we all know there is a indian mooks version now how mooks were born in in 2011 or 12 one of the professors from a computer science department in a, in a, in one of the universities in us tried to do an experiment because as i said there is a global shortage of good teachers not only in india but across the globe so this particular expert of a particular field in computer science if the rest of the world has to benefit from his or expertise he needs to travel to all over the world or the people who want to get benefited need to travel to us to meet him and to get benefited the both of them are costly affair and practical challenges so he tried to do an experiment in 2012 what what is called mooks massive open online courses that experiment was highly successful and that gave birth to mooks and the swam is the indian version of the mooks which means indian platform for the mooks so we all know about swam and we ugc has brought a ugc credit framework for mooks which means institutions can allow certain percentage of the credit through mooks courses through the swam courses we all know about it and i would request all the participants there are two kinds of users in swam one is the learner the other is the teacher all teachers can register and on the swam portal create a learner account and go through the content there are two type of courses one is called self paced learning the other is scheduled courses self paced learning courses one can learn on its own at its own pace and the scheduled courses we can identify and ask our students to register as per the statutes and the provisions in our respective institutions then we have the last uh, 
नेशनल डिजिटल रिसोर्स कॉल्ड स्वयं प्रभा स्वयं प्रभा इज एक्चुअली अ डायरेक्ट टू होम दिस टीवी चैनल ऑन विच वेरियस प्रोग्राम्स आर बीइंग एडवर्टाइज आर बीइंग एयर्ड सो द एरियाज वेयर यू डोंट हैव इंटरनेट कनेक्टिविटी यू डोंट वरी टेक अ डिश टीवी एंड इट्स वेरी वेरी इकोनॉमिकल वी कैन पुट इट इन द लाइब्रेरी पुट इट इन द कॉमन एरिया वेयर आई स्टूडेंट इन द हॉस्टल्स एंड वी कैन आस्क द स्टूडेंट्स टू वॉच दोज प्रोग्राम्स prepare notes submit as assignments those kind of things we can do so these are all the initiatives central initiatives the government is taking to provide the national digital resources so allow me to close my slides right now and i will move to a browser to showcase some of the digital resources that i just i talked about any questions kindly ask your questions if any in what all we have discussed so far before i take the national digital resources so let me start from swayam prabha am i audible participants can you please confirm yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir is the discussion making yes sir yes sir okay so please see that i have just opened the swayam prabha national digital resource and in this swayam prabha there is a section of higher education there is a section of school education so based on your institution now let me go to higher education so i came to the higher education now you can see swayam prabha has lots and lots of channels you can see here there are 40 channels that is visible on my screen right now and i'm sure you would be watching right so if these channels are advertising lots and lots of programs based on based on the needs of your institution you can actually obtain this this tv and you want to know more about swayam prabha you can see about swayam prabha and you can see more details here right that you know 40 channels there are so many titles etc etc and they have lots and lots of there is a contact number that you can contact there is a website that we have opened there is a mail id also so you can contact swam prabha for any you know details that you are not able to decipher from the website now you can see here you can uh, this this we can provide in the common room in the hostels in the libraries in the appropriate places in our institutions for the benefit of students now there are so many there is program schedules so there are program schedules which are being run so i would encourage all the participants to go through swayam prabha at your leisure and see and apart from that there is an archival section programs which have been aired in past are also archived which means it can be looked at separately remotely and through smartphone through internet it can be basically our the archive programs can also be so let me just open any one of them let's say uh, um, architecture and interior design here is the program schedule right so here we have program now you can see here these are all the different times when the program this is 22nd february today is 22nd february so here are the timings so from 8 to 823 this will be the topic covered from 8:23 to 8:57. This is the topic. So something like that. This is right now going on. And if we want to see the archive, we can go to the archive section, and you can see here those programs are available as the content here. You can see different contents here, and you can click on that. If I click here, it will open the video, and we can see this video. I'm sure. time does not permit me to get into the details however i would encourage all the participants to explore swayam prabha thoroughly and start using it in your institution then we had a number of other resources that we have mentioned let's say virtual lab so let me show you the v lab we have virtual lab so i don't have time to go through all of them in details but i have given the pointers and i expect all the participants to explore these resources and adopt them in your respective institutions for the benefit of your students passing out or enrolled in your institutions right so there are so many of them 
let while it is opening to for the safety safety of time let me open an example of lms that we mentioned is my screen visible yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. so yes, sir. here is an example of lms learning management system now in lms this is our actual lms that we have implemented in our university each student is entitled to have an lms account each faculty member is entitled to have an lms account and then now let me log in here as my own account as a as a faculty member that i am using so i'll show you inside the, the internals of this lms by logging into this portal just allow me just give me one minute Okay, so I have logged into the as my, you know, as a in my teacher account, right? Now you can see here it contains the courses that I had been teaching in the recent semester. Now I'll showcase if I, if I click on this, here are my slides that I had uploaded for my students. Now who are all my students? If I click on the participants. It showcases the list of students I have. And good thing is if I give an assignment, this particular student had logged in 60 days back, right? This particular student and so on and so forth. So the students have logged in at different point of time. It is available. Suppose if I give an assignment to any student and ask whether you have done the assignment, Orally, he tells me, sir, I have done. But when I log into the portal, I see he has not even logged in. That means he is not telling the truth. So I can showcase him that so you have not even logged in the portal. Please do. So teacher has got a good adaptive control as to what? Now let me showcase the assignment. Here is the assignment that I had given. Here are the, let's say, here are the slides that I taught in the class. I uploaded my slides. Now students, I have a visibility. Who has downloaded a slide? Who has not downloaded a slide? And those students can go through those slides and then they can come back with the query. So if he got dropped out because of the power or legacy problem, he can still refer the slide that I upload after the class. Now, as far as the assignments are concerned, I have, what I have done is see, see how we are, you. I'm, I'm giving you one example. You may have your own, apply your own innovation to make it further better. I have, I want to make sure that a student writes in his own handwriting so that he or she is compelled to go through the content. So I have said that you please submit assignment in your own handwriting. So when, when my students have submitted the assignment, I can go here and see. And I what I do is I have seen the assignments they have submitted. And you, I, you can, I'll just show you. Here are the files that the student had submitted. So here is the, I'll, I'll just show. Now, the I will not accept type assignment because in type he may copy. Now, he, this fellow, what is my SQL brief, briefly articulates his main feature? This was the question. Now, he even if he is copying from somewhere, when he is writing in his own handwriting, he's reading. My objective is to make him read, to make him learn. So by doing this, uh, he's saying my SQL is relational database. He's answering. In his own handwriting and so copy paste is not possible even if they are copying so this is one way then i am doing grading and i can download the grade so i have when he submitted now this fellow submitted this assignment on 28th september 2023 so for submission he doesn't have to come to me he can submit online so here are the benefits that i have likewise we have if i have to put any announcement change can just put a notice and immediately it will go to all the students and they can see on their smartphone for example if i have any announcements i can put for example here is the announcement i said please find below the url for perusal of your sessional marks and this is my notice board so i said here are this fellow was absent in the first test in the second test here is the marks so these are the actuals i'm saying and this was posted in 27th november 416 p.m 
so this is the beauty that we have through an lms so there is actually any time anywhere interacting with the student i put a notice here immediately it goes to all the students on their handphone on their smartphone on in there so they can log in they will know that a new notice has been posted by my teacher and all the students are enrolled in the course are listed here so likewise this this is a actually solution happening and this solution is at zero cost as far as the software is concerned we have something called moodle so this software is a very mature software but it is without any cost the cost is only on the server side maintaining the server and the server infrastructure but otherwise it is free so this all can be implemented across the institutions for making the life easier for the students so uh, there are more digital resources this is the virtual lab that we we talked about it and in any lab there are you know information available here you can go through and let me just showcase one one simple lab let's say uh, i'll say civil engineering lab let's say there is civil engineering so we have uh, lots and lots of labs available here is the basic engineering material lab and you can see here here is the experiment objective here are the list of experiments here is the target audience here is the course alignment so very very nice you know very nice content very good reviewed here are the tensile strength of the experiment uh, test of the so full information is available so i would encourage all the part here is the corresponding theory here is the corresponding objective here is the pre test which means before you take that lab you can go through this test so that you can know after the lab you can again take that test so that you can see the enhancement in the learning this all is this is a wonderful material available for each experiment so here are the some of the national digital resources that government has funded and made available we uh, we would like to urge all the stakeholders from different institutions to start using these material for the benefit of students so that we can get the government can realize the benefits in besides and at the time of approving these projects right so with this i would like to spend the rest of the time on the research side of things time is not permitting otherwise i can go on but i would like to take some time on the research so i will stop here for teaching learning and the side coming back to the uh, chat session now let us focus on the let us focus on the uh, what is called uh, the problems of the can somebody mention in the chat box what are the problems of research scholars or in, even if you don't want to mention in the chat box you can unmute and speak directly what are the problems of research scholars and research supervisors and how do we solve how do we solve those problem through icd that's the objective for the next 20 minutes or 30 minutes yeah go ahead yes participants do you believe that there are some problems in the research process that we would like to address through icd go ahead either as research supervisor or as research scholar because i sir, we just had a we just had an informative uh, session by uh, sm khan sir and uh, it was very informative and uh, he mentioned some of the ai based applications which helped in solving many of the problems in the research areas so no what i'm saying is can we name the problems can we see some other solutions also what can we identify two three four problems that we believe they are the problems that need to be addressed sir yeah go ahead what are the first, problems first problem that uh, every time supervisor is not available because of uh, his workloads okay so Uh, lack uh, of availability of time from supervisor okay yeah cool so Any, second uh, second is uh, every resource is not available at the time i mean content we uh, actually when we see that uh, see that books look that book so at the time we cannot find in the library okay so you are saying the the uh, e resources needed for the search work could be papers it could be you know some published articles 
access yeah. to those articles is a problem. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, actually, sir. Okay. Anything else? We will talk about that. Assalamualaikum, sir. Uh, namaskar, sir. Yeah, namaskar. Please go ahead. What are the problems uh, that you sir, give? Sir, my question is, I'm a Sanskrit teacher, sir. So, the whole group of people who are in the group, I've been faced with it. के साथ पूर्वाग्रह तो सर इसमें कैसे निराकरण किया जाएगा है मैं समझता हूँ कि बींग फेयर एंड बींग कम्प्लाइन टू दूशन की जो पॉलिसी होती है जनरली वो बहुत फेयर होती है तो अगर किसी पर्टिकुलर केस में इंस्टीट्यूशन की पॉलिसी से हट के कुछ काम हो रहा है देन इट्स बेसिकली कंप्लायंस टू द पॉलिसी इशू राइट उसमें कभी भी जब ऐसा होता है तो देर विल बी सम इम्पैक्टेड पर्सन तो कुछ ग्रीमेंस का मैकेनिज्म होगा इंस्टीट्यूशन में उसको एड्रेस करें डिस्कस करें दैट्स वॉट आई कैन थिंक बट आई थिंक वॉट वी आर लुकिंग मैं एग्जाम्पल से सब प्रश्न पूछने जैसे एक प्रश्न आता है कि पृथ्वी जो है हमारे शास्त्रों में लिखा है पृथ्वी शेष नाग के फन पर की है तो इसको यदि हम किस इसको अलग ढंग से कहते हैं इस बात पे अभी डिबेट हो जाता है तब क्या किया जाएगा सर अच्छा तो मैं मैं कहता हूँ जो रिसर्च का जो इंस्टीट्यूशन का प्रोसेस है इसको हम डिस्कस करेंगे अभी हम जरा क्वेश्चंस ले लें और लोगों से भी देन वी विल डिस्कस राइट तो जैसे कोई रिसर्च स्कॉलर ने किसी इंस्टीट्यूशन में एडमिशन लिया तो एडमिशन का कोई डिपार्टमेंट होगा वहां से एडमिशन लेने के बाद फॉर्मेलिटीज कंप्लीट करने के बाद वो अपने उस डिपार्टमेंट में आएगा जहां उसके सुपरवाइजर हैं जहां उसको आगे काम करना है राइट तो जो काम करना है जिस डिपार्टमेंट में वहां पहुंचने के बाद रिसर्च स्कॉलर फर्स्ट डे फर्स्ट वीक फर्स्ट मंथ फर्स्ट ईयर में क्या करे इसका कोई तरीका वी आर सेइंग वी आर लुकिंग एट जनरल नॉट इन एनी स्पेसिफिक केसेस बट वी आर लुकिंग एट वॉट इज दैट द रिसर्च सुपरवाइजर शुड डू वॉट इज दैट द रिसर्च स्कॉलर शुड डू on the first day first week first month first year and maybe on the second year and third year fourth year whatever so that he or she is able to complete the journey of his phd process and obtain a, 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 you know get awarded phd through the research process of the institution right to hum iske upar baat kar rahe hain ki is process mein hame ict se kaise madad mil sakti hai kaam ko behtar banane ke liye काम को एफिशिएंट बनाने के लिए और सुविधाजनक बनाने के लिए ये बात है जो हम अभी डिस्कस करना चाह रहे हैं कि हाउ कैन आईसीटी बी अ सॉल्यूशन इनेबलर टू द प्रॉब्लम जैसे अभी दो प्रॉब्लम बताई कि हमें रिसर्च स्कॉलर और रिसर्च सुपरवाइजर के बीच में जो डिस्कशन का टाइम है वो टाइम मुश्किल से मिल पाता है एक बात बताई अभी पार्टिसिपेंट्स ने दूसरा ये बताया कि बहुत सारे रिसोर्सेज जो हमें चाहिए वो इंस्टीट्यूशन में अवेलेबल नहीं है वो पेड रिसोर्सेज होंगे तो हम क्या करें राइट ये दो बात हुई तीसरी ये बात है कि कुछ दिक्कत किसी इंडिविजुअल को भी कभी हुई है प्रेजुडिस हुआ या कुछ हुआ तो उसको भी वी विल टॉक आई थिंक कोई भी रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूशन में जो कोर्स होता है उसका एक कोर्स का एक ऑर्डिनेंस होता है जैसे पी का कोर्स है तो उसका भी ऑर्डिनेंस होगा तो उस ऑर्डिनेंस के मुताबिक अगर काम हो तो कभी भी दिक्कत आती नहीं है जब हम काम उससे हट के करेंगे तो मुमकिन है कोई दिक्कत आए तो हमेशा जब ऐसा हो तो जो हमारे गवर्निंग रूल्स या ऑर्डिनेंस हैं वो क्या कहते हैं उसकी रोशनी में अगर कॉन्फ्लिक्ट को रिजॉल्व किया जाए तो ज्यादा बेहतर होता है एनीथिंग एल्स और किसी का कोई प्रॉब्लम है तो फिर हम आगे शुरू करें डिस्कशन वी हैव गॉट अबाउट 15 20 मिनट्स फॉर द रिसर्च प्रोसेस सर हाउ आईसीटी कैन बी यूज्ड इन ऑर्डर टू एग्जामिन द फिजिबिलिटी ऑफ एनी रिसर्च दैट नीड्स टू बी कंडक्टेड एब्सोल्युटली वी वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इट वेरी नाइस हाउ आईसीटी देखिए ऐसा है कि जब रिसर्च स्कॉलर कोई रिसर्च स्टूडेंट आके एडमिशन फॉर्मेलिटीज करके डिपार्टमेंट में आके रिपोर्ट करता है कि सर मैं नया स्टूडेंट हूं मैंने एडमिशन ले लिया है फीस जमा कर दी है फॉर्मेलिटीज पूरी कर ली अब बताइए मुझे क्या करना चाहिए तो हम में से अक्सर लोग इस प्रोसेस से गुजर चुके हैं तो कुछ कुछ किया होगा हम हम लोगों ने या हमारे सुपरवाइजर ने या हमारे डिपार्टमेंट ने हमारा अपना एक्सपीरियंस है कुछ ये डिस्कशन है कि हमारा ये प्रोसेस कैसे एफिशिएंट हो जाए एक तो है कि डिपार्टमेंट में कुछ कोर्स वर्क होता है रिसर्च का फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर में कुछ कोर्स वर्क होता है राइट रिसर्च मेथोलॉजी का कोर्स है एक आध सब्जेक्ट कोर्स है बाय एंड लार्ज सारे इंस्टीट्यूशन में होता ही है राइट 
yes, वो कोर्स करना है वो एक बात है वो कोर्स करना है दैट्स प्रीरिक्विजिट फाइन मैं रिसर्च के वर्ग के बारे में पूछना चाह रहा हूं एक मसला जो रिसर्च स्कॉलर के सामने होता है कि मैं किस टॉपिक मेरा रिसर्च का टॉपिक क्या हो राइट right, मैडम मैडम ने अभी पूछा कि हम ये फिजिबल है इस पे काम करना कि नहीं करना ये so, कैसे हमें आईसीटी मदद कर सकता है वेरी नाइस क्वेश्चन वेरी रेलिवेंट क्वेश्चन वी वुड एंडेवर टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन ये एक प्रॉब्लम है मैं ऐसा काम करूं ऐसा ना हो कि मैं काम करूं दो साल बाद ये काम तो पहले हो चुका है आपका हमारा दो साल खराब हो गया अब हम फिर कोई नया शुरू करें राइट मैडम यही कंसर्न है ना yes, या sir, yes. हम जो है जब काम करें तो हमारा एफर्ट वेस्ट ना हो ये कंसर्न होता है रिसर्च स्कॉलर का रिसर्च सुपरवाइजर जो है वो उसको कैसे गाइड करे जैसे अभी किसी पार्टिसिपेंट ने बताया कि रिसर्च सुपरवाइजर का टाइम नहीं है अब मैं आपको रिसर्च सुपरवाइजर का वर्जन भी बताता हूँ ये तो आपने बताया रिसर्च स्टूडेंट का वर्जन रिसर्च सुपरवाइजर का वर्जन ये होता है मैंने कई रिसर्च सुपरवाइजर से भी इंटरेक्ट किया कि हमारा रिसर्च स्कॉलर छह महीने में एक बार नजर आता है जब उसको वो वाली रिपोर्ट जमा करनी होती ना छह महीने में एक प्रोग्रेस रिपोर्ट जाती है जब वो प्रोग्रेस रिपोर्ट का टाइम आता है तब वो आता है कहता सर इस बार तो किसी तरह करा दीजिए अगले छह महीने में बहुत रेगुलर रहूंगा मैं और उसके बाद वो फिर छह महीने बाद नजर आता है ये वर्जन है बहुत सारे रिसर्च सुपरवाइजर का तो यहाँ पर दो डिफरेंट वर्जन है हमें सोल्यूशन देखना है कि कैसे ऐसा सोल्यूशन हो कि हम जो है कैसे इंटायर प्रोसेस बिकम्स मोर एफिशिएंट नाउ लेट इसको हम आंसर करने से पहले हम एक और चीज पूछना चाहेंगे कि हमें एक एक कॉन्सेप्ट है लिटरेचर रिव्यू का शायद मोस्ट ऑफ अस वुड बी नोइंग अबाउट इट राइट लिटरेचर सर्वे या लिटरेचर रिव्यू रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर सर्वे राइट तो रिसर्च में हम क्या हमारा टॉपिक हो टॉपिक तो बहुत स्पेसिफिक हो गया हमारा एरिया क्या हो और फिर उस एरिया के अंदर स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक हो तो हमारा कुछ उस पर आने से पहले काफी मेहनत लगती है कुछ महीने लग जाते हैं वहां तक पहुंचने के लिए उन महीनों में या उन वीक्स के अंदर हमें लिटरेचर रिव्यू पे फोकस करना होता है या लिटरेचर सर्वे पे फोकस करना होता है यहां पर जो लोग पहले काम कर चुके हैं उनके काम का रिव्यू करना होता है रेलिवेंट टू द एरिया अब हमें दो रास्ते हैं या तो हमें एरिया मालूम है कि हमें इस एरिया में करना है इसके आगे की डिटेल्स नहीं मालूम है किस टॉपिक पे हो क्या सब एरिया हो क्या वगैरह वगैरह ये दूसरा यह हो सकता है कि हमें एरिया भी नहीं मालूम है राइट एम आई एम आई मेकिंग सेंस ये भी हो सकता है कि स्कॉलर को एरिया भी नहीं पता है कि हमें तो पता ही नहीं है जो बताएंगे हम करेंगे आप बताइए कैसे करना है क्या करना है राइट तो अब मैं इसके लिए आपको एक एग्जाम्पल देना चाहूंगा कि यहां पर लिटरेचर रिव्यू और सर्च इंजन सर्च मेथडोलॉजी और डेटा बेसिस का बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट रोल है अब ऐसा है कि आपने हम में से अक्सर लोगों ने गूगल यूज किया होगा राइट गूगल हम रोज यूज करते हैं करते हैं नहीं करते हैं गूगल yes, 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 हम गूगल पे हम सर्च करें कि हमें क्या रिसर्च करना चाहिए तो वो सही नहीं है गूगल इज नॉट ए वेरी ऑथेंटिक सोर्स फॉर सर्चिंग रिसर्च रिलेटेड मटीरियल रिसर्च के लिए जो हमें देखना होगा ऐसा है कि असल में जो पुराने लोग काम जो हो चुका है उसके लिए कुछ डेटा बेसिस हैं जो इंडेक्स होते हैं जैसे कुछ नाम हो मैं बता रहा हूं बेस्ड ऑन द एरिया जैसे मेडिकल साइंस के लिए पब मेड है जी सर इसी तरीके से जो है वेब ऑफ साइंस है इसी तरीके से स्कोपस है इसी तरह से अलग अलग एरिया के अलग अलग डेटा बेसिस हैं जो इंडेक्सिंग करते हैं पब्लिश वर्क की अच्छा दूसरा अब हमें वहां जाके सर्च करना होगा अब सर्च दो तरह का होता है इसको समझाने के लिए मैं आपको एक एग्जांपल दूंगा फिर मैं अपने पॉइंट पे आऊंगा मान लीजिए आपको जाना है यहां से किसी मान लीजिए आपको जाना है फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव टू गो टू समेयर एंड यू हैव ए हॉपिंग फ्लाइट यहां से आप गए बेंगलोर में चार घंटे छह घंटे की हॉपिंग फ्लाइट है और फिर बैंगलोर में दूसरी फ्लाइट लेके आपको आगे जाना है आपको पास चार छह घंटे का टाइम है आपको आपके एयरलाइंस ने किसी होटल में टेम्पोरि स्टे दे दिया कि आप यहां रुक जाइए आपके पास चार घंटा छह घंटे का टाइम है ठीक है तो वहां पर अगर दो रास्ते हैं या तो आप बेंगलोर पहली बार आए हैं आपको मालूम नहीं है कि मेरे पास चार घंटे का टाइम है मैं जरा सा आस कहीं जाना चाह रहा हूं या तो मैं क्या करूं 
तो आप क्या करेंगे कि आपके होटल के अंदर एक एक जो है वो टूरिस्ट का येलो पेजेस का बुक होगा राइट आप उसको खोलेंगे और उसको खोलने के बाद आप देखेंगे कि पास में कोई शॉपिंग मॉल है पास में कोई रेस्टोरेंट है जो यहाँ से पांच दस मिनट के वॉक पे हो ताकि मैं ट्रैफिक में ना फंस जाऊं और मेरी फ्लाइट ही ना छूट जाए करेंगे नहीं करेंगे ये एक ऑप्शन है दूसरा ऑप्शन है कि आप बेंगलोर के बारे में अच्छी तरह जानते पहले भी आ चुके हैं आपको खुद मालूम है कि यहां से पंद्रह मिनट की दूरी पे फला जगह है जहां पे मैं दो घंटा लगाऊंगा तो दोनों के सर्च मेथडोलॉजी में फर्क हो गया पहले केस में आप येलो पेजेस में गए फिर उसके बाद गए रेस्टोरेंट्स की लिस्ट में फिर वहां पे जाके देखा कि साहब जो आपकी चॉइस को मीट करता हुआ हो वो कितनी दूर पे है वगैरह वगैरह ये एक मेथड है सर्च करने का और दूसरा मेथड है कि अगर आपको ये मालूम है कि एग्जैक्टली यू नो तो आप सीधे वहां रिसेप्शन पे फोन करके बोलेंगे कि या मुझे एक टैक्सी दिला दो या ऑटो इंतजाम करो आई नीड टू गो टू दिस प्लेस इमीडिएटली ठीक है तो ये दो मैथड हो गए इंफॉर्मेशन सर्चिंग के अब इसको अगर हम सर्च इंजन से रिलेट करें तो एक चीज कहलाता है कीवर्ड सर्च और दूसरा कहलाता है सब्जेक्ट सर्च और डायरेक्टरी सर्च यानी जो पहला मेथड था कि हमें पता ही नहीं है कि हमें जाना कहां है हमें इतना पता है कि हमारे पास इतने घंटे का टाइम है और हम बहुत ज्यादा दूर नहीं जाना चाह रहे हैं इन दैट केस वॉट यू डू इज यू विल गो फॉर अ डायरेक्टरी सर्च इस मीन पहले आप जाएंगे रेस्टोरेंट फिर जाएंगे उसके सब कैटेगरी में वगैरह वगैरह तो दैट मीन You will do a method of search called directory search, right? You will search a telephone directory or yellow pages directory or something like that. So, is के लिए जो information search का method है, जो हमारे जितने भी journals हैं. Now I am going to open on on my screen. I am opening. Sorry. I am opening a page that you would be that will be visible to you right now. It is called D O A J Directory of Open Access Journals, right? So, अब अगर हमें यही नहीं पता है कि हमें किस फील्ड में करना है, तो हमें फिर directory सर्च करनी है। यानी पहले जाना है कि subject होगा, फिर उसके अंदर we'll have to drill down further. वहाँ जाके articles को ढूँढना होगा। For example, अगर मैं यहाँ कहूँ अगर मैं यहां पे राइट सो आई विल हैव टू चूज द सब्जेक्ट फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई से आई वांट टू डू अ लॉ सपोज लॉ रिलेटेड तो अब मुझे पता चला कि लॉ से रिलेटेड 831 इंडेक्स जर्नल है अब मैं यहां पे आके अपना टॉपिक मान लिए मैं ढूंढ रहा हूं साइबर लॉ समथिंग लाइक दैट राइट तो फिर मुझे पता चलेगा कि इस पर जो है वो इतने आर्टिकल्स यहां पब्लिश हैं यहां पे इतने आर्टिकल्स मौजूद हैं राइट तो यहां पे मुझे नहीं मालूम है सब्जेक्ट अपना तो आई एम डूइंग अ डायरेक्टली सर्च द अदर वर्ड इज कीवर्ड सर्च अगर मुझे कीवर्ड मालूम है तो आई विल डायरेक्टली टाइप माय कीवर्ड राइट जो सेकंड एग्जांपल मैंने दिया कि आपने पता है कि यहां से 15 मिनट की दूरी पे एक एक जगह जहां आपको जाना है Straight away you will call. So in a keyword search, you directly type the keywords to search. Now let me type. Take an example. अब मैं एक डेटाबेस में आया और मैंने यहाँ directly keyword type कर दिया. Right. तो उसने बताया कि इस टॉपिक पे इतने सारे पेपर्स यहां ऑलरेडी मौजूद हैं जो पब्लिश हो चुके हैं 116 डॉक्यूमेंट्स फाउंड ये सर्च में गूगल में भी कर सकता था लेकिन गूगल के अंदर बहुत सारे अनऑथेंटिक आर्टिकल्स पब्लिश है उनको भी पुल कर लेगा ये चूंकि एक रिसर्च का डेटाबेस है ऑथेंटिक पब्लिश आर्टिकल्स को इंडेक्स कर रहा है तो ये वाली सर्च ज्यादा मेक सेंस करती है अब मैं इसको फर्दर ड्रिल डाउन कर सकता हूं ये आर्टिकल मेरा 2023 में पब्लिश हुआ है इनको मैं डाउनलोड कर सकता हूं अगर हमारे इंस्टीट्यूशन में एक्सेस है और अगर एक्सेस नहीं है तो फिर हमें देखना होगा कि क्या ये ओपन एक्सेस जनरल में भी कहीं पढ़ा है नहीं पढ़ा है अदरवाइज हम 
ऑथर को कॉन्टेक्ट कर सकते हैं और ऑथर से अगर हमें गूगल में सर्च करना है तो हमें गूगल का जो स्कॉलर डॉट गूगल डॉट कॉम है यहां पे जाना होगा बहुत सारे जो गूगल स्कॉलर प्रोफाइल हैं लोगों के वहां पे जाके यू विल हैव टू चूज फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर हम किसी किसी पर्टिकुलर फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैसे हमारे एक फैकल्टी मेंबर हैं हमारे इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिपार्टमेंट के तो उनके ये प्रोफाइल है ये उनका रिसर्च पेपर है अब अगर किसी रिसर्चर को ये पेपर समझ में आता है तो ही कैन ऑलवेज कॉन्टेक्ट कि सर मैंने आपका पेपर गूगल स्कॉलर में देखा है मेरे पास ये एक्सेस नहीं है काइंडली हेल्प मी इफ यू कैन हेल्प मी बाय गिविंग योर पेपर एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑथर्स आर वेरी वेरी सपोर्टिव फॉर द रिसर्चर्स तो वो उसको जो है मेंटरिंग गाइडिंग गाइडेंस वगैरह वो दे देते हैं बाय एंड लार्ज इट कैन बी अ रिक्वेस्ट दैट मोस्टली इज ऑनर्ड बाय द मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑथर्स अक्रॉस द ग्लोब सो व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज कि हमें इंफॉर्मेशन इस तरह सर्च करनी होगी और फिर उन आर्टिकल्स को पढ़ के उसके बाद हमें उसको उसके मुताबिक अपना प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज हमें बहुत सारे रिव्यू पेपर्स पढ़ने होंगे जिसमें ओपन रिसर्च इश्यूज होंगे उसकी रोशनी में फिर हमें अपने गाइड से डिस्कस करके विल हैव टू अराइव एट अवर रिसर्च क्वेश्चंस कि क्या क्वेश्चन है जो हम अपने रिसर्च के थ्रू आंसर करने वाले हैं आंसर टू दो क्वेश्चन इज गोइंग टू बी योर रिसर्च वर्क इज दैट क्लियर दूसरी yes, बात इस दूसरी बात यह है कि अब उसमें टूल्स की जरूरत पड़ती है तो कई बार अगर एक्सपेरिमेंटल वर्क है तो फिजिकल इक्विपमेंट की जरूरत पड़ेगी अगर सिमुलेशनल वर्क है तो किसी सिमुलेशन टूल की जरूरत पड़ेगी फॉर एग्जांपल मैटलैब है मैटलैब एक प्रोपराइटरी सॉफ्टवेयर है लेकिन इसका एक ओपन सोर्स वर्जन भी है जिसको साइलैब बोलते हैं तो हम साइलैब से कर सकते हैं एक इसी तरह कई बार स्टैटिस्टिकल एनालिसिस की जरूरत पड़ती है तो स्टैटिस्टिकल टूल की जरूरत होती है तो स्टैटिस्टिकल का एक पेड वर्जन है जिसको हम एसपीएसएस बोलते हैं और एक ओपन सोर्स वर्जन जिसको आर बोलते हैं आर तो हम बहुत सारे ओपन सोर्स वर्जन भी है जिसको इस्तेमाल करके हम अपना रिसर्च वर्क कर सकते हैं इसकी वर्कशॉप होती रहती हैं लोग करते रहते हैं थर्ड जो टूल है जो इंपॉर्टेंट है आईसीटी के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से वो है रेफरेंस मैनेजर टूल तो अगर आप अगर आप आ, आ, ने रेफरेंस मैनेजर टूल किसी ने यूज किया हो जब हमारा ये एक बड़ा अच्छा सा फ्री एंड ओपन सोर्स रेफरेंस मैनेजर टूल है जिसको मेंडले बोलते हैं इसमें अकाउंट क्रिएट कर लें तो वो जो पार्ट है जो कह रहे थे कि हमारा रिसर्च सुपरवाइजर कई बार ऐसा होता है रिसर्च सुपरवाइजर ट्रेवल कर रहा है वो किसी और कंट्री या किसी और सिटी में है हम मिलना भी चाहे तो नहीं मिल सकते हैं तो हम यहाँ मेंडले में अकाउंट क्रिएट करके यहाँ पे अपना वर्क डाल के और उनको मेल भेज सकते हैं उनको एक सिक्योर मेल चला जाएगा ही विल लॉग इन एंड प्रोवाइड हिज अपडेट तो हम इस तरह से अवेलेबिलिटी डिस्पाइट बींग इन ए डिफरेंट जोग्राफिकल लोकेशन उसको इंश्योर कर सकते हैं इस तरह से हमारा ये रेफरेंस मैनेजर टूल बहुत अच्छा टूल है मेंडले पे जब भी आपको टाइम मिले प्लीज गो थ्रू मेंडले इट्स अ वेरी नाइस टूल एंड इट इज वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर द रिसर्च स्कॉलर्स टू मेंटेन अ लाइब्रेरी ऑफ ऑल द रिसर्च पेपर जैसे जैसे आप रिसर्च पेपर आइडेंटिफाई करें उसको यहाँ अपने मेंडले लाइब्रेरी में डालते जाए और फिर जब आप रिसर्च पेपर लिखेंगे तो उनकी रेफरेंसिंग बहुत आसान हो जाती है मेंडले के थ्रू एक ये है इसके अलावा एक टूल की जरूरत पड़ती है जिसको बोलते हैं फ्लैग चेक टूल नाम सुना है यस yes, सर अच्छा क्या होता है ये फ्लैग तो सर वो प्लेगरिज्म का चेक होता है कि हम कहीं से कॉपी तो नहीं कर रहे हैं एक्सलेंट एक्सलेंट साहित्य तो... ऐसा है कि प्लैग जो है प्लेजरिज्म कहते किसे हैं साहित्य चोरी अच्छा। किसी के दूसरे किसी के दूसरे के वर्क का बिना उसकी अनुमति का उपयोग करना किसी दूसरे के काम को अपना काम बना बता के पेश करना राइट बिना उसके अनुमति के कंसेंट विदाउट कंसेंट अनुमति और उसको क्रेडिट भी देने के बगैर अगर कोई है ना तो अब अब जो है अब अब यहाँ पर हम एक सवाल पूछेंगे आपसे और ये सवाल मेरा पर्सनल सवाल है डोंट एट्रीब्यूटेड टू इंस्टीट्यूशन सो मैं आई एम पुटिंग डिस्क्लेमर आप ये बताइए कि मेरा ये सवाल है आप जवाब दीजिएगा फिर हम डिस्कस करेंगे कि क्या हमारा एजुकेशन सिस्टम स्कूल से शुरू होते हुए क्या प्लेजरिज्म को प्रमोट करता है या प्लेजरिज्म को अपोज करता है प्रमोट करता है सर छोटा बच्चा छोटा बच्चा स्कूल से आके घर में रो रहा होता है कि ये मेरा प्रोजेक्ट बना दीजिए मम्मा 
या ब्र, एल्डर ब्रदर या एल्डर सिस्टर ये मेरा प्रोजेक्ट बना दिए वरना कल हमें स्कूल नहीं जाऊंगा मैं या बच्ची बोलती है मैं नहीं जाऊंगी आपने देखा है क्या होता है माता पिता या भाई या कोई दूसरा बनाता है और लेवल लगा देता बच्चे का बच्चा साइंस प्रोजेक्ट तो सारे पेरेंट्स ही बनाते हैं या उसका कोई सिबलिंग्स बनाता है सुन तो लीजिए मैं ये कहना चाह रहा हूँ जब वो स्कूल में लेके जाता है तो जितना चमकदार उसकी पैकिंग होती उतना अच्छा नंबर मिलता है कोई बच्चा ईमानदारी के साथ अच्छा प्रोजेक्ट बना के ले जाए तो छोटा बच्चा तो बहुत अच्छा बना नहीं पाएगा मतलब कॉस्मेटिक्स और एस्थेटिक्स बहुत नहीं होगी इनोवेशन होगा चाहे वो हाफ बेग डी क्यों ना हो उस इनोवेटिव आइडिया को हमारे टीचर्स रिजेक्ट करते हैं इंकरेज करते हैं बताइए आप इंकरेज करते हैं सर <laughs> अगर इंकरेज इंकरेज करते हैं तो बच्चा स्कूल जाने से रोता नहीं बिना प्रोजेक्ट पूरा किए हुए वो उसको मार्क्स उसको अच्छा नहीं मिलता है इंकरेज तो जब जब इनोवेटिव वर्क पे अच्छा मार्क्स मिले चमकदार वर्क जो दूसरे तो उस पर मार्क्स ना मिले तब तो हम कहेंगे कि इंकरेज करते हैं लेकिन इसका उल्टा हो रहा है बच्चा वो प्रोजेक्ट लेके जाने को तैयार नहीं है कह रहा कि हमें डांट पड़ेगी स्कूल में हमारे टीचर डांटेंगे कि ये तुमने कैसा बनाया बाकी लड़के तो बहुत अच्छा बना के ला रहे हैं बाकी बच्चे जी तो जी बिल्कुल सर ऐसा होता है मैं मैं सिर्फ इतना कहना जी वाई वी आर डिस्कसिंग दिस बिकॉज आई एम आस्क ये ये ऐसी चीज है जिसको हम और आप अकेले नहीं सुधार सकते हैं आई एम डिस्कसिंग दिस टू रिक्वेस्ट ईच वन ऑफ यू की जब कभी आप किसी कमेटी में हो जहाँ पॉलिसी डिसीजन हो रहा हो तो आप इसकी कोशिश करें कि सिस्टम का सुधार हो चीजें ओरिजिनल जो है वो इंकरेज की जाएं और तब जाके हमारे सिस्टम से प्लेजरिज्म की जो मीनांस है और जो ये समस्या है तब जाके ये दूर होगी वरना केजी से पीजी तक केजी से लेके पीजी तक प्लेजरिज्म प्रमोट होता रहे और पीएचडी में आके यू टर्न लेके बोला जाए कि साहब ये गलत है फ्लैग चेक करा के लाओ तो लोग कराएंगे कंप्लाइंस के लिए लेकिन इट इट विल बी मोर ऑफ अ हाइपोक्रेसी तो ये मेरा एक पर्सनल व्यू था जो मैंने आपके सामने रखा और मैं आपसे रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि जब कभी भी आप किसी ऐसी कमेटी में हो जहां पॉलिसी मेकिंग हो पॉलिसी डिसीजन हो तो जरूर ओरिजिनल वर्क को प्रमोट करें ताकि सिस्टम में सुधार हो और ये सुधार दो चार दिन में नहीं हो सकता इट टेक्स अ लॉन्ग स्ट्रेटेजिक अप्रोच नो कमिंग बैक टू द ऑफिशियल वर्जन ये जो हमारा ऑफिशियल वर्क है उसकी फ्लैग चेक होती है उसके लिए बहुत सारे टूल्स हैं राइट जो टूल्स हमारे मोस्टली इंस्टीट्यूशन की लाइब्रेरीज में होते हैं उनको इस्तेमाल करें और जो भी इंस्टीट्यूशन के नॉर्म है उसको फॉलो करें और उसके मुताबिक अपने रिसर्च वर्क को प्रोसीड करें तो दिस इज दी देर आर टूल्स वो टूल्स की अपनी अपनी अलगोरिथम होती है अपना अपना वो कॉन्फिगर्ड कॉन्फिगर्ड पैरामीटर्स होते हैं जिसके मुताबिक वो चेक करते हैं और वो एक सॉर्ट ऑफ एक्सरे करके बताते हैं उसके बाद फर्दर जो एक्शन है वो रिसर्च स्कॉलर रिसर्च सुपरवाइजर को कलेक्टिवली उसको गो थ्रू करके फिर उस पर जो भी नेसेसरी एक्शन है वो लेके फिर उसको दे हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट इट इज कंप्लाइंग टू दॉर्म्स राइट सो दीज आर समिंग दैट वी वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस सो लेट एस समराइज क्या हमने डिड वी अचीव द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ ऑफरिंग सम ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल सोल्यूशन टू द प्रॉब्लम दैट वी डिस्कस इन एडवांस एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द सेशन प्लीज गो हेड इट्स टाइम फॉर योर क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर एंड फीडबैक जी बताइए हमारा टाइम ऑलमोस्ट खत्म हो गया है तो हम the time does not permit us to proceed further but i'd like to spend a few minutes sir for question sir if any sir i ji bataiye hamare hamare sansadhan ka expansion hai ya ek teacher ko wo constraint kar raha hai ki nahi aapki bhumika bas simit hai baaki sara kaam hum log kar lenge nahi nahi aisa kuch nahi i ict मैंने जैसा हमारी स्लाइड में भी आपने बहुत सा, बहुत सारे चीजों के बारे में बताया कि यहां, यहां से आई आई सी टी इज ए सोल्यूशन इलेबलर हमारे टीचर्स की कैपेसिटी को इनहांस करने के लिए है टीचर को लिमिट करने के लिए नहीं है ये हमारा प्लेटफॉर्म है जैसे टीचर किताब लिखते थे और वो किताब चलती रहती थी ऐसे टीचर स्वयं पे कोर्स बनाया वो कोर्स चलेगा तो ये टीचर की आउटरीच को इनहांस करने के लिए है टीचर के टीचर से ज्यादा से ज्यादा फायदा लोग उठा सकें उनकी नॉलेज से इसके लिए है टीचर को ट्रिम करने के लिए नहीं है तो जितना हम क्रिएटिव एक ऑफलाइन क्लासरूम में रहते हैं मतलब क्रिएटिव इन टीचिंग उतना हम सर क्रिएटिव नहीं रह पाते हैं आपको व्हेन वी यूज आईसीटी क्योंकि वहां हम प्रत्येक बच्चों को देख रहे हैं कि वहां बच्चे को क्या जरूरत है हम समझ पा रहे हैं उनसे इंटरेक्ट कर रहे हैं डायरेक्टली नहीं लेकिन दो, दो चीजें हैं 
आईसीटी का मतलब सिर्फ ऑनलाइन क्लास नहीं है आप अगर आईसीटी को सिर्फ ऑनलाइन और ऑफलाइन क्लास से कंपेयर कर रहे हैं देखिए ऑनलाइन क्लास और ऑफलाइन क्लास दोनों के अपने फायदे और अपने कंस्टेंट्स हैं दोनों के हम ऑनलाइन क्लास में भी टीचर्स जो है वो स्टूडेंट पे नजर रख सकते हैं हम उनके वीडियो कैमरास को ऑन रखें बीच बीच में सवाल पूछें तो बच्चा इंगेज रहेगा लेकिन आईसीटी का मतलब सिर्फ ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन क्लास से नहीं है आईसीटी का मतलब बहुत कुछ और है आईसीटी बहुत वाइडर है हम ऑफलाइन क्लास में रहते हुए भी आईसीटी को इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं जैसे हमने एलएमएस बताया हमने जो क्लास में पढ़ाया चाहे वो ऑफलाइन पढ़ाया चाहे वो ऑनलाइन पढ़ाया चाहे वो हाइब्रिड पढ़ाया हम एल यूज कर सकते हैं एल असाइनमेंट जमा कर बेस्ट तरीका है वो तो बहुत अच्छा तरीका है उसके लिए तो अप्रिसिएशन है आईसीटी को लेकिन जैसे अभी अभी देखिए सर आप आप पर हम लोग को पढ़ा रहे हैं या बता रहे हैं और क्या हम लोग इतना कंफर्ट फील कर पा रहे हैं जितना आपके सामने इन फ्रंट आप हम लोग को पढ़ाते हैं नहीं ऐसा है देखिए फेस टू फेस जब हम फेस टू फेस होते हैं आई टू आई कांटेक्ट होता है तो अगर बच्चा डिस्ट्रैक्ट हो रहा तो टीचर करेक्शन अप्लाई कर देता है लेकिन आप ये भी समझिए अभी इस वक्त आप लोग अलग अलग शहर में है या अलीगढ़ में है अलग अलग कोरोना से पहले कितना ओरिएंटेशन एक्टिव होता था अलग अलग देखिए ऐसा है तो अब यहाँ पे हमें प्रोज और कॉन्स और फिर हमें एक ट्रेड ऑफ लेना होता है अगर आप अलग अलग शहर में हैं और अपने कंफर्ट ऑफ दी होम या कंफर्ट ऑफ योर इंस्टीट्यूशन से ज्वाइन करके डिस्कस कर रहे हैं तो एक जो बहुत सारा पेन आपको लेना पड़ता टिकट बुक करना था ट्रेन रिजर्वेशन कराना था यहाँ आना था घर का खाना पीना आपका जो प्रिफर्ड चॉइस था वो छोड़ के यहाँ हॉस्टल का या जो भी तो ये एक 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 लाइन है एक लाइन ऑफ थॉट है या एक लाइन ऑफ एक्शन है यहाँ पर हम वो सारे हैसल्स को अवॉइड कर ले रहे हैं वो सारे चीजें तो अब यहाँ पे हमें जो देखना है जैसे अब हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं वी आर डिस्कसिंग थिंग्स फेस टू फेस कोई चीज हमें हम कैमरा ऑन करें तो फेस टू फेस इट्स लाइक फेस टू फेस अच्छा अब अगर यही बात आप अपनी क्लास में ऑनलाइन मोड में कर रहे हैं और बच्चा लेस इंटरक्टिव है तो आप उसको बीच बीच में सवाल पूछ के क्विज लेके ये इंश्योर कर लें कि बच्चा ऐसा ना हो कि लॉग इन करे और जो है कैमरा ऑफ करके और सो जाए ऐसा ना होने पाए तो उसके लिए जो टीचर जैसे आमतौर पर टीचर क्लास में करते हैं कि हम ये देखते रहते हैं कि बच्चे को कैसे इंगेज किया जाए वी वॉन्ट टू इंगेज द स्टूडेंट वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू पैम्पर दम बट वी वॉन्ट टू इंगेज दम तो वो चीजों के लिए बेसिकली केस टू केस बेसिस में किस तरह इंगेज करें वो तो टीचर अपने एक्सपीरियंस से इंगेज करता है हम आईसीटी के थ्रू कैसे इंगेज कर सकते हैं इसके ऑप्शन हैं जैसे हमने कैमरा ऑन कर रखा है हमने बीच बीच में नाम लेके सवाल पूछा गया आप बताओ तो बच्चा अलर्ट है कि पता नहीं कब हमसे सवाल पूछ लिया जाए तो लेट मी बी इंटरक्टिव इन देशन इसी तरह हम ऑनलाइन क्विज ले सकते हैं क्लास के दरमियान ही क्विज ले सकते हैं ये ये ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन हमने खोला भरो सब लोग और इसको जवाब दो तो इस तरह से हम बहुत सारी चीजें कर सकते हैं टू केप कीप देम अलर्ट एंड इंटरेक्टिव ड्यूरिंग ऑनलाइन क्लास बट आईसीटी का मतलब सिर्फ ऑनलाइन क्लास नहीं है ऑनलाइन के क्लास के अलावा बहुत सारी चीजें हैं जी सर प्रैक्टिकल लेवल पे ना हम कॉलेजेस में इस तो अप्लाई नहीं कर पाते क्योंकि रिमोट एरियाज बहुत है ना सर यहाँ पे कॉलेज काफी सारे विलेजेस एरिया में भी है इंटरनेट प्रॉब्लम है बहुत सारे प्रॉब्लम हो जाते हैं सर देखिए ऐसा है कि अगर इंटरनेट हर वक्त अवेलेबल नहीं है ये बहुत कॉमन प्रॉब्लम है तो जैसे हमारा एनपीटेल का लेक्चर्स हैं इसको वीडियोस को हम डाउनलोड करके एक लैन पे रख दें तो बिना इंटरनेट के लैन के थ्रू ये ये कवर होगा तो इंटरनेट आ रहा है चाहे इसी तरह हम कोई वीडियो डाउनलोड कर लें अपने मोबाइल में तो हम इसको देख सकते हैं इंटरनेट है या नहीं है तो इस तरह के कुछ ऑप्शन है जिसको हम अवेल कर सकते हैं हर वक्त इंटरनेट से कनेक्टेड रहना जरूरी भी नहीं है और बताए एनी अदर क्वेश्चन नो सर थैंक यू 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 सर